welcome back to another episode of the How To Guide to Wine. Today we're looking at how to buy wine in a supermarket. Uh, a lot of people really enjoyed last week's episode, uh, which was how to buy wine in a restaurant. So if you haven't seen it, check it out here. Uh, if you stay with me, I'm going to go through my five main tips for buying in a supermarket, plus a bonus uh, section right at the end just to take you all the way through. So working as a wine brand ambassador and in the wine industry for around 10 years, I've been selling wine into supermarkets for years. And so I know a lot of the tricks and a lot of things that will help you in picking a good bottle of wine. So starting with tip number one, buy the supermarket's top own brands like Sainsbury's Taste the Difference, Morrison's the best, Asta Extra Special. These are really good wines at their price point. Imagine every winery wants to have their juice in that bottle, which means the wine buyers get to be very, very hard on the pricing. So the quality of the juice in there is definitely better value than what it would be if it was the winery's specific brand where they would sell it more. If the winery is getting lots of volume, they lower the prices. And so therefore, you get a really good deal. Secondly, the wine buyers want a grape variety that is specific to that grape variety and the terroir. So if you're picking up, for instance, a Pinot Noir from Central Otago, it should taste like that. So actually on your wine journey, it's a pretty nice place to start. Something tasty, good value and reliable. Tip number two. Do not be fooled by offers. There are some wines that are on offer. Every few months there will be a system and they'll get to be a better price. However, there are many, many wines, pay attention, that are often sold at £10 and then constantly at 5 They were never supposed to be £10. They were supposed to be a £5 wine. So be aware, the best offers that you can buy are Buy six and get 25% off. Sainsbury's often does it. Waitrose often does it. They're the best deals that you can get and guarantee that you're going to get a much better price. So pay attention to that. And when you're in the supermarkets in general, see if a wine stays on discount all the time. Don't buy that wine. Tip number three. Try your absolute best to be as far away from a £5 wine, as high as you're willing to spend. And the reason for that is... Taxes, the duty just for a wine, one bottle of wine to come into the UK is £2.23. Now, once you've added 20% VAT to that, once the supermarket has made their markup, imagine the cost of packaging, the logistics. What are you left with at £5? You've probably, you haven't even got 50p of juice. But for every pound more you spend, all of the rest is the same. So for a six pound wine, you're getting one pound 50 worth of juice. If you buy a seven pound wine, you get two pound 50. So keep that in mind. Stay away from the five pound wine and do not go lower than that. Tip number four, look for regions on the back of the bottle or even on the front label. So if a wine is from Chile, say, and it's just Central Valley, it can come from anywhere. But perhaps if it has Casablanca, or Maipo, a specific region, you know the grapes are gonna be from a specific place and the quality is probably gonna be better. The same for Southeastern Australia. If you look at that on a wine map, that's pretty much almost all of Australia. So again, look for Barossa Valley, McLaren Vale, Adelaide Hills, uh, same for California. You know, there are places like Paso Robles, uh, Napa Valley. So try and find specific regions. That doesn't always mean it's gonna be a better wine. Occasionally, wineries might have several vineyards in places and they want to create a funky, cool blend. But as a general rule, the more specific, site-specific, the smaller the region, generally, the better the juice. So pay attention and have a look for wines with regions. Tip number five, don't stress out about vintages. A lot of the time, the wines in a supermarket are not age-worthy wines. Uh, for that, go to an independent specialist and you can ask them about the vintages. The wines in the supermarket are generally younger wines that are supposed to be drunk young. So in fact, Sometimes with some older wine, it could be that it's not selling very well. If you are concerned about vintages, 
New World is generally a little bit easier because the weather is more consistent. But when we talk about places like France and Italy, they can have some really, really bad weather. So go New World if you just want to be super, super safe. Um, don't look specifically for older vintages. That doesn't necessarily mean anything in the supermarket. And in terms of the old world, um, there are apps, there are information on the internet really, really quickly. If you see there is a Chateauneuf de Pape or a Burgundy wine and you are interested, have a quick look on the internet and you'll see a list of the vintages that were best for that year. Also do keep in mind though, and this is why it's a minefield, so I would say avoid it and don't stress out. Um, a lot of the time when it's a bad vintage for wine, the top wines aren't so good, but they actually put their better grapes into the lower wines. So sometimes in a bad vintage year, the lower wines can actually be quite good. So you can see how this is confusing. So top tip, don't stress out in a supermarket about the vintages. Okay, and if you've stuck with me and you want a little bit of an extra bonus, I think the best thing you can do is pay attention to the grape varieties and start working out what grapes you like. Now, looking at the international grape varieties, I'm gonna give you a list, get a pen and paper or pause this so you can remember what grape varieties come from what French regions. So, Burgundy in France, the white grape is Chardonnay, the red grape is Pinot Noir. The Loire Valley, the red grape is Cabernet Franc, and the white uh, variety is Sauvignon Blanc. In Bordeaux, the red varieties are Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, and for white, they are Sauvignon Blanc Semillon blends. For the Rhone Valley, it is Syrah, or also known as Shiraz, and in the Southern Rhone, where it gets hotter, it is Grenache. White varieties from the Rhone Valley would mainly be in supermarkets Viognier. So have a look at that. Try those varieties around the new world where they label them and if you start liking them then now you know the main regions in France. Anybody who wants me to list any of my favourite wines from supermarkets specifically or a grape variety put some comments down below and I will tell you what to try. I'm absolutely happy to do that so like, share, subscribe, let me know if that was helpful again. Your comments really really are useful and uh, enjoy your wine. See you next time.